All right, we're back here for our second round of season preview, 2011-2012 season. Well, we're back here in familiar ground, the Hawks Nest here at West Madison with a familiar face, Jesse Belcher, a reigning WVSportsNet.com player of the game, if I just want to throw that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we can get you a few more this year. Hopefully. Well, last year, as everyone knows, you know, you guys had an unbelievable season. You made a great run at it. Fell just short to, um, obviously, state champion Oak Hill, who had an amazing player in Khalif Wright. Now, your job as the senior this year, to try to bounce back from that, how much pressure does that put on you this year? Oh, it puts on a whole lot of pressure. I mean, you don't really get blessed very many times with uh, two six-footers. <laughs> I mean, they were huge, Dave and Harmon. I mean, you really don't get blessed with that. And this year, I mean, we're having a struggle with uh, big men, but, I mean, they're doing their part. Uh, me and Matt's gonna have, me, Matt and Cody's going to have to really uh, put a lot of pressure on us. I mean, it does put a lot of pressure on us knowing that we were uh, runners-up last year in AA, and it really puts a lot of pressure because, I mean, we really need to go back, and, I mean, that's what everyone expects in our hometown to go back to the state tournament. Okay. Well, you said you guys lost two big guys, but, you know, you, Matt Dolan, is, um, he's going to join us here in a second. You know, he's on returning. You also got sophomore Cody Brown, who got a lot of good valued um, experience last year in some really critical games. So do you feel that, you know, you guys returning your entire backcourt, that, you know, you guys are going to be really experienced, a lot more experienced than some others than that? We, we get a little bit more experience. I mean, me and Matt especially. I mean, Matt's been starter as long as I have. He's been starting here since he's a freshman. I mean, I've been starting here since I was a sophomore, since Steve McComas left. But, I mean, yeah, we have a lot more experience at guard. I mean, dribbling-wise, no one can really pressure us because we will be experienced in that. People pulling presses on us, but they couldn't really press on us this year because me and Matt could dribble through it. Uh, we know not to get in a hurry. But then big men come around, uh, big men... It won't be like Harmon and Dave because, I mean, they were experienced. It's just going to be hard. It's going to be opposite of last year. We big men won't be like Harmon and Dave because, I mean, they were experienced. It's just going to be hard. It's going to be opposite of last year. We was experienced down low and not very much at the guard level. And now this year we're going to be experienced at the guard level and not very big at down low. Right on. And, uh, well, you guys are in the Cardinal Conference. And last year you had three teams out of the Cardinal Conference make the state tournament. So obviously that means a tough schedule because you also got throw teams in there like Chapmanville and Sissonville is going to be returning a lot of players this year. So how does that like benefit you down in the stretch whenever you go up against a tough conference schedule each year when you know you have to at least play them once at their place and once here? Well, it's uh, it's actually really fun. I mean, knowing that you have a very very tough schedule that you just can't come out here at any day of the week and just take it easy. I mean, because everyone in our Cardinal conference is. Actually, a very great team, and uh, if we take one one minute off of practice or just goof off around, I mean, that's them beating us in one second in the game, two seconds in the game. We just can't take any days off, and I mean, it really pushes us uh, knowing that we have a very good conference to go against, and I just love getting pushed. All right. Well, you guys are probably going to be pushed a lot, especially up there on the perimeter this yeah. year. Uh, I'm sure you got, you guys are going to be the ones that are going to be gunning for, you know, trying to draw fouls on you. Uh, but how does it feel to be the senior leader this year? Compared to last year, you already had a very solid core of senior leaders, even in Nevin Honeycutt, who was a key role player off the bench there for you guys. So how does it feel to, or do you feel like you was kind of a leader last year too? I don't, I don't like it. I don't like to put out to that leader. Uh, I, I just want to play as a team. I mean, a leader, yeah, you always need a leader on a team. And if I say anything, if anyone's a leader on a team, it would probably be Matt. Because Matt, I mean, he leads us on the court, he leads us off the court, in school, everything. Uh, I mean, Matt's one of our main leaders. Yeah, I, th I think that a little bit of I'm the leader. I, I know what's going on, stuff like that. I can help other people out. But I'm just, I just like being called a player. I mean, not very much as a leader. I hear that, team player at that, because we saw you, yeah, you like to dish that ball around there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just giving the love out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, final question here for you before we let you go. What would be may make this season a success for you? Definitely making it back to the state tournament. State uh, tournament. No questions asked. I mean, I couldn't imagine it yeah. wanted to be any other way either. Yeah. I, my senior year, I mean, junior year going to the state championship and falling short hurt real bad. But my senior year, I really want to make it at least back to the state tournament. I don't want to come up any shorter than that because, I mean, it, it'd be a heartbreaker knowing that your junior year you made it all the way there 
and just fell up short, and then your sophomore senior year, not making it as far. Well, no pressure, right? Yeah, no pressure. Either. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have a very tough, uh, very tough regional, I mean, a very tough region. So you guys, but you guys are definitely going, like you said, talking about the schedule. You guys are going to have plenty of chances to be good enough and get better to make hopefully a run during the regular season and get you another Cardinal Conference. Well, maybe get the championship. The sheriff got poke at it yeah. last year, but uh, you know, hopefully, you guys. Uh, pull everything together here and you know pick right up where you left off last year and wish you the best of luck and well, like I said uh, hopefully we get to see you back here on WB Sports tonight as player of the game oh definitely <laughs> alright Jesse Belcher one of the seniors here at Scott High School big shoes to fill and we'll be right back with Matt Dolan here a junior guard at the Hawks Nest here in West Mass West Virginia on WVSportsNet.com your sports voice of the Valley all right, we're back here at the Hawks Nest with junior Matt Dolan, another WVSportsNet.com player of the game last year, and you guys' state run. Uh, well, we never really got to talk too many people after the state run last year. How, just real quick, I know it's tough to live in the past, and especially during state tournament time, it's tough to go back to the memories, I'm sure. But how exciting was that experience for you last year? Like, when you know, it's all said and done, you at least say you got that. So how was it? Uh, I mean, it was one of the greatest feelings in the world to be able to represent our school on a state level and show that uh, Scott High School was a real contender for the state title. Uh, well, last year you guys you know, lost Harmon and you lost uh, Ward and then also Tully and Honeycutt. But you guys also lost your head coach, Jason Kingery, as he went on you know, to, to other things. But you had a long-time assistant, Nick Cavill. So how's that transition been for you guys? Uh, does, it, does it feel like a lot's changed in the way things are? I mean, I'm sure there's some changes. Uh, Coach Cavill, he's a uh, he he runs the same style of, uh, as far as yelling at people, <laughs> but he punishes us with running instead of uh, you know getting up in our faces and everything. But he's a really good coach, and God blessed us with him getting the job. Thank goodness, and he runs the program really well. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better coach than we have right now. So you guys probably have just as much respect for him you guys ever did for King. Oh, yes. a lot of and the good good vibes in the locker room. Oh yeah. All yeah. right. Well, you gotta have you gotta have your good leadership. Now we were just talking to uh, Jesse Belcher, and he said that he referred to you as being the leader of the team. Do you feel that you're the leader of the team, and how does that make you feel being the leader of the team if you are? I try to be uh, set the best example for the younger kids as I can. Uh, but Jesse lied a little when he said he wasn't the leader. I mean. For three years, he has uh, led us, like, perfectly. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better guy. He's one of my best friends. And his leadership, he fills that role to, like, like perfect. Uh, I, I hear that. I would have to. I, I disagreed with him too, but I couldn't show him up right in, on on camera. So, but uh, but I mean, if, if anything, it's a true testament to how humble you know how humble he is. Well, last year, you know, you guys lost a lot. So, how do you think being like an experienced backcourt and from being an experienced downcourt, well, we you know what I mean, post to an experienced backcourt, what's that going to be like different this year? Do you feel like there's going to be a lot more pressure on you being on the perimeter, maybe being uh, more responsible for the offense? There is more responsibility on us, but I mean, our big guys coming in, they'll, they'll be able to fill in the fill in the spots pretty well. But as far as the backcourt goes. It helps us a lot with more control of the game because last year we had to get it down low and we had less to worry about shooting wise. I mean, we got to be more controlled and set the game tempo from a guard perspective this year. Hopefully, breaking the breaking the press won't be much of an issue for you guys this year. At least I, I do not believe it will be. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so, yes, Jesse, we're going to ask you too. What would be your expectations for this year? What, what's the main goal for you guys? Uh, my main goal is always a state title and I settle for nothing less. Settle for nothing less. I wouldn't either. I never did. Um, what's going to be the number one characteristic when people watch Scott play this year? When they watch you guys play, what's the one thing they want to say about your guys' performance? I want them to be able to say that we work hard and we earn what we get. How important is it for this town and like this area? Like last year, they really rallied behind the team. Like, how important is the Scott basketball here to this area and in, in Madison, Danville, and well, Matt, Scott District, I guess. Uh, I have people come up ask me all the time how we're going to look this year. I mean, <laughs> we have tremendous support behind us, and I hope we continue to have the support that we had last year. Well, we hope you guys definitely have another run at it. Uh, is the Cardinal Conference Championship, you know, on on the on that on the menu for you guys this year? Hoka stole <laughs> from away from you last year. That's one of our objectives this year. But we got a really tough Cardinal Conference this year, and we got to work really hard if we want to get that conference title. Are you looking forward to the tough schedule? I am. Yes, I am. All right. I'm well, always looking forward to a challenge. <laughs> well, it definitely get you. Hopefully, get you more prepared for when March time comes around, because the whole season. It's not about. That's the great thing about basketball. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. 
So uh, do you guys have a lot of players on your team that you feel like are going to continually learn throughout the year and oh, be yeah. a lot more I mean, solid around March? We got a young team right now, and they're just now getting used to varsity basketball. But once they get used to it, I think they can really contrib contribute and uh, help us a lot. All right, Matt. Well, we wish you the best of luck again this year. Thank you, sir. And just like I told Jess, I hope to see you over here on some winning uh, winning games as part of the game. Again, we love having you. And uh, best of luck to you this year. And and uh, knock, knock them out. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. All right, Matt Dolan, again, junior guard here at Scott High School. We'll be right back with new coach Nick Cattle here on WVSportsNet.com with our very own John Foster, your sports voice of the Valley.